my name is Renee Brown and I am a third year PhD student in the History of Art and Architecture Department at Boston University and I participated this past summer in the BUCH uh, PhD internship program at the Boston Athenaeum and I had a really wonderful experience there. Um, I worked with the Director of Education, Hannah Wiseman, and um, with her I helped to research, organize, and plan the Athenaeum's annual educator workshop, which is designed to help um, K-12 through educators learn best practices for incorporating primary sources in their classroom uh, teaching related to subjects such as civics, history, um, social studies, um, etc. And the, the workshop also attracts other types of educators, including uh, museum docents and school librarians who want to learn new strategies for using um, the material at their home institution. So my day-to-day -day work at the Athenaeum started with um, coming up with a theme for next year's um, workshop, which the theme I selected was immigration and migration. Um, which was a theme that was well represented in the Athenaeum's collection. And so then I uh, got to dug, dig into that collection and um, pull out sources that I thought would be useful um, in incorporating in activities for the workshop. And each of these activities targeted different types of sources. So one, for example, would look at text-based sources, another at visual sources, and then um, I even included an activity related to oral history, which um, is not a source that is included in the Athenaeum's collection, but Hannah really encouraged uh, me to include this um, as part of, uh, as an important medium for telling the history of immigration. Um, so I was excited to have that, that kind of creative license um, in introducing a new type of activity into um, the workshop's sort of repertoire of, um, of activities. And, um, and designing the activities was also a lot of fun. Um, it really got me to think in a very different way about primary sources. Um, usually in a research paper, for example, um, you're using these sources to build um, an argument, but it's, um, I had to think about them in terms of, um, well, how do these help kind of tell, tell a history better? And um, how do you really transform them from something that's kind of um, foreign and hard to read into something that's a useful tool for understanding a particular history? And so that was really exciting for me. Um, and um, I enjoyed using my research skills, which I have acquired through doing a PhD program, to create um, something, a syllabus, that is um, useful to um, a broad audience. Um, and I, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed doing that. And um, the the opportunity also opened up for me the possibility of pursuing museum education as a possible career path if um, if that opens up in the future. So um, it definitely was useful in terms of thinking about kind of future career pro possibilities um, and kind of broadening the horizons in that respect. Um, and so I'm happy to talk to anyone who is interested in um, applying for the Athenaeum internship. I highly recommend it and um, you can find my contact information on the Boston University um, History of Art and Architecture Department website and yeah I'd love to chat and good luck.